Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how you can create an auto start script in Linux that when you log in into your Linux desktop, then this command or script will be run. This matter came up because of one of my last videos and blog posts here mount OneDrive S folder in Linux with Raclon. In this tutorial, we created a small script or command which you can use to mount your OneDrive in Linux. And the problem is that every time you log in into your desktop and you want to add or have access to your OneDrive, you need to run this command. And in this video, we're going to um, implement it that way is that this command will be run every time we log in in our desktop. Everything I describe here in this video is also available in this blog post as usual, as maybe I'm talking too fast. So you can read everything up here in the blog post link is in the video description. Okay, let's get started. In my case, I have created a small script called mount cloud.sh and this script contains our command we just have seen. So let's check the content. As you can see, the following command is run in this script and this mounts as our OneDrive in Linux. So let's try this out. Uh, I have started it and as you can see now OneDrive appears here on our desktop and I can access OneDrive in Linux. And first thing you will note is uh, that the script is blocking. So it will not return here to my bash. So this is a blocking script and this will be important later on. Okay, let's terminate the script. And uh, now the uh, mounted directory is gone again. And how do we add that to the auto start script of Linux? Okay, in order to run a script or commands when I log in, there's a file called dot profile. This file is usually hidden, so we can look it up with ls minus a minus l. Here it is. And uh, this dot profile file contains commands and scripts that will be run if I log in into my desktop, into my account. So let's edit the file. So I use vim here and edit the dot profile file. And here we go. So as you can see, there are already some commands in here. We leave those untouched here. And at the end, we can now add our mount cloud script. So I will enter here the full pass to my script mount underscore cloud dot s h. And now uh, something really important. Um, as we have uh, seen before, this script is blocking. So in order to run the script non blocking, uh, we have to add an ampersand to the script. So in our case, mount cloud, we uh, add an ampersand to that. And this makes the script non blocking and the script will be run in a separate process. This is really important because if you do not add this to a blocking script, then uh, you might be unable to log in into your desktop. So make sure that the command is not blocking. Okay, here we go. In our case, we are now finished and we write this file and now we restart the computer and see if it works. Okay, I have restarted the computer and as you can see, uh, OneDrive is already mounted and if I double click it, I have no access to my files. So the script will now be run every time I log in into my desktop. And the only important thing is here to make sure that the script is not blocking. Uh, when I first tried this out, I wasn't able to log in into my uh, desktop because the screen was black just because the script was blocking and uh, it would not finish. So make sure that you add the ampersand at the end if you have a blocking script. Okay, well, that's it. Goodbye.